Okay, I'm just going to take uh, shots of this video editing program of my session out at the range today, and this allows me to kind of do some stop action. This is a little weird because I'm aimed off to the left. There's a little pile of soil out there on the range that I was aiming for, so it's about 30 degrees off a straight, so it looks like I'm set up really open. My hips are quite open in a dress. You see that right there. I got kind of a diagonal stance, but my hips are kind of open. Taking it back with weight on the left. Seems like it's coming a little over the top. Normally my shaft will line up with my right forearm, but it doesn't here. It's coming in a lot higher. It's a good contact. I'm trying to see the club face. Evidence that the club face is uh, staying open through impact. Let's look at a couple others here. How about this one? Here comes a swing. Take away. Club really looks like it's coming in steep. Maybe it just must be the camera angle. Also looks like it's cutting across the ball, which it is. After I've hit a shot, I see traces on the mat of the club head, kind of a ghost image of the way the club face went through the ball, and it looks like it's being cut, sometimes almost in an extreme manner. Let's go back and look at a uh, straight on shot here. Interesting little pre-shot, pre-swing kind of move. I'm actually lifting the hands up. Body's starting to go. See the hips going. That's the move from the top. There's a noticeable kind of, I don't know if you call it a sway or what, but it's swaying over to the left toward the target. My upper body stops behind the ball and the rest goes through. I would say my spine tilt is uh, leans away from the target at address and stays away, away, maintains that angle, but it's always kind of leaning away from the target. Okay, maybe that'll probably do it for now. Let's see if I have one other example. Maybe this. body action and it looks like it's going back and forth and not really pivoting. Okay, I'll end it here.